The largest U.N. General Assembly in years means the return of gridlock alerts surrounding the conference. Eyewitness News reporter Johnny Fernandez live near the U.N. Uh, with more on what you need to know to try to get around the city this week. Johnny. Hey, good morning, Mike. Well, nearly double the amount of diplomats and world leaders will be present here starting tomorrow for the UN General Assembly. Now, we know that police say double the amount. That means double the traffic. Now, police say that this is because world leaders are required to be here in person. Now, this is the largest UN Assembly in General Assembly in recent years. Now, this year, the city will welcome 140 heads of states. The police department says that it has been working on the security plans for about a year, and the department Department says despite there being no threat, they are monitoring the events going on around the world because those events will impact the type of protests that can possibly happen here. And thousands of officers will be spread out throughout the city, including traffic officers. Police say that the roads impacted will stretch from 42nd Street to 57th Street from 1st to 5th Avenue, and drivers need to be aware of the closures and times. If you must drive or make deliveries in the area, we advise you to avoid the area during the hours of 6 a.m. through 7 p.m. As we work tirelessly together to make sure the highest level of security and efficiency is done, we strongly encourage, encourage New Yorkers and visitors to plan ahead, use alternate routes, and use mass transit if they plan to visit the areas. Now, General Assembly will start on Monday and go all the way through Friday. We know that the president is expected to arrive here in New York City on Tuesday. His stay is expected to be until Thursday. 